Our full uh, lockdown started uh, three weeks ago. So uh, right now we are in the plateau of uh, uh, the, in, uh, this pandemia here in Italy. So I believe over the next few days uh, there will be a drop of this curve. Uh, I believe starting the next week we will uh, we will see a reduction of uh, of the cases, and uh, we still have a high number of deaths. But uh, we did reach uh, twelve uh, thousand of deaths. But people who are dying today are people who have been sick uh, since one week, two weeks ago. So uh, with the reduction of the infections, obviously we we will observe a reduction of the deaths. Uh, so I think things are uh, getting slowly much, much better. Uh, I believe ne Italy needs uh, at least uh, two more weeks of lockdown and then, and then we will see. We know that the lockdown measures in Italy have been extended to at least Easter. But that's actually quite, that's coming quite quickly on the horizon now, sort of a week and a half away. What kind of improvements, what measures are you looking at to see before you say, OK, that's it, we can lift some of these more strict measures on the population? Uh, I believe the most important thing will be to see the number of an infection. Uh, you see, if, uh, uh, if you check the numbers in Italy, uh, you, can, you can see that the, 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 the huge hit has been in the north, so Lombardia, Veneto, Emilia-Romagna and Piemonte. And then we start with the entire uh, country lockdown, and uh, this happened between the 8 and 9 of March, and then uh, uh, strict um, uh, measures were taken a uh, few days later, too. Uh, so the, the central part of Italy and the south have been protected by this. Uh, so um, I would say that uh, as soon as we see a drop in the infection in the north, uh, the central part of Italy in the south would be more uh, contained. So I think we, we will never see the same identical thing that we observed in the north, in the central and the south part of Italy. So what are you waiting for before normality can start to resume in Italy? Uh, obviously, the drop of the uh, uh, contagious. Uh, obviously, uh, the uh, the possibility that uh, one of us can uh, pass the virus to, to less than one person. So uh, obviously this is a statistical and epidemiological model. So uh, I, I think in, in two weeks probably we'll be able to uh, restart slowly uh, our activities. Obviously slowly because uh, uh, you know that other outbreaks are possible. Uh, so, and when you say uh, slowly, what does that mean? What would be the first things that Italians would be able to get? back to doing? Oh, I think uh, industry for sure and, uh, and other activities. Uh, I mean, if you ask me, uh, will you reopen the theatres and cinemas? I would say those uh, will be the last. So it will be getting people back to work first and then thinking about leisure activities after. Exactly. And then there will be, uh, I think, the necessity also to understand who got the virus. So we, we know that we are testing uh, uh, serological tests uh, to check antibodies. And so obviously who got the disease and uh, it will be free. And, uh, and this, is, I think, is uh, another, another important thing. Uh, I believe very important will be also the, the use of swabs uh, to surround the, uh, you know, if, if you have other outbreaks in the area where there are outbreaks. So, uh, Obviously, we, we you're, are establishing... you've recovered and you're back to work, which is brilliant to see. But your personal experience of having the virus, do you think that's changed how you've looked at handling it from a political perspective? Uh, I, I'm out of from uh, this disease uh, since one week ago. Actually, I, I mean, I'm a medical doctor, so uh, I don't think this is going to change a lot my my point of view. Uh, I believe that um, a, probably a larger use of swab is, uh, is useful because this is a very deceitful disease. So you may start with, uh, as I started, with... Uh, uh, a loss of uh, taste and uh, I was uh, unable to taste and smell things at the beginning. So, you know, without fever, without any other symptom. So I believe that uh, you need to search even for very, very small and symptoms and, and check. Uh, because I, as I told you, this is really a deceitful uh, disease.